Howdy, y'all. You know, when I started writing curriculum for this school 11 years ago, I was a 22 year old kid, fresh off my second or third year, winning at Pikes Peak and was convinced that I'd got everything figured out. And, and I realized I didn't, because I didn't have a job, I didn't have any money. But I had a vision, I had a vision for a place, for the community, much like our friends at Pikes Peak that came together with something transcendent of our politics, our bickering, our religion, for something we're really passionate about. We always thought of that place as a rally ranch. Back then I didn't know what it looked like. It was uh, 2015 when we moved in this place finally. And it was like some transcendent experience to find out this place even existed. But to get to call it home for the past five years has been one of the most exceptional and incredible gifts that I think I'll ever get. And fortunately that I think several thousand other people have gotten. But 2020 wasn't easy any more than it was for anybody else. And coming into the year with big hopes and dreams like everybody and you know the ideas that this would finally be it was super critical for us because we we're on a five year lease and that lease ended fall of 2020. So when the whole world tried to end, it didn't do us any favors. But nevertheless, because of the culture and the community that we've created here and the opportunities that have resulted from that and the absolutely unbelievable, exceptional group of people that we call staff, clients, and friends. Not only did we survive 2020, but we managed to build this incredible new gate, put together this 70-year-old airplane hangar that we bought on Craigslist, built a new fleet of rally cars. I got to drive a rally for the first time in a decade. We put Bucky Lassick back in a rally car. And as we round out the year, it's hard not to look back with a ton of gratitude. Because not only did we get all that stuff done, we survived the pandemic, at least this part of it, act one, we survived each other, and best of all, September, days before our lease ended, we managed to buy this place. Securing this for generations to come, ideally, but we get to invest all of our time and energy and our heart in this place for, I don't know, the rest of time, as long as we got the bandwidth. More importantly, as long as you guys show up. You know, some people like to run businesses and grow them for the sake of growth. And for us, growth is just an opportunity to help more people and empower more people to find the magic with their eyes, hands, and feet and take what they learn here, project it out into the rest of the world. And to lean into kindness and connection and community, in other words, the start with the sea that are also cool. And that's what we're most stoked about and most proud of at the Rally Ranch. And so that's what we're most grateful for and everybody's support. So if you haven't been here in a while or you've never been, come see us. Come make my house your house. How do they say that in Spanish? Make casa, su casa, there you go. I've been to Baja like six times, so I'm pretty much fluent, even though the American public school system. I did spend eight years learning Spanish anyways. Love you guys. Happy New Year's. Come see us soon.